so um, first you need to download the DB browser for SQLite so you just Google SQLite DB browser go to the first link and you can see DB browser for SQLite and you can download whichever you want based on your system so for me it's Windows 64 so I have downloaded this and I have installed this it's a exe file and you can easily install and you will get a DB browser for SQLite so you just open it and you'll get something like this one and so there is an option for import but there is no like option which is like on for importing table from CSV because there is no database here so in DB everything is stored in table so first you need to create a database and then we import this uh, CSV into import the CSV data as a table into this database so first let's create a new database and I will create it in my D folder and here so I'll just create a test import uh, CSV to SQL okay I'll create this database so it will ask whether you want to create any table for this so first we'll give no uh, we need to actually create table but I'll show you later so table 0 indices 0 and everything is 0 because there are no table now we can import this one table from CSV file so this is a CSV test data dot CSV and let me open it or this and you can see this is the original CSV file so it has four fields name age weight martial, martial status so name is string age is integer weight is float and mar, mar, <laughs> the status is you know string <laughs> okay so yeah so now it will uh, import all this and you can choose whether you want the first line to be column name or not and you so it's import complete if it's a huge file it will take a few minutes to import it so now you can browse data and you can see joey uh, uh, this name age weight and mar martial status so now if you execute any you know commands like uh, select all fields from test data that's the name of our table because that was the name of the CSV file and the name of the CSV file is taken as the name of the table where age is less than 31 so if you see whose age is less than 31 is only Joey so let's fire this so it says zero rows returned in zero millisecond from select and why this happened uh, this uh, the answer is this one if you go and see everything here is in the form of text however our data was as such that age was integer weight was floating point and this was string but when we imported it everything came in form of you know text and that's why when we are firing this command it's not working so what we have to do is uh, when you're importing data from CSV so first you create a table empty table with the name of the CSV file with the fields and the type you want so let me show this so let me first delete test data and now you add fields okay so the field was what name age weight and martial status so let let me enter this field as name and what its type its type is string which is text and then I add another field its age its type is integer I'll let it be and then I'll add another field weight and its type was floating point which in this SQLDB is real and then the last field was martial status and it was text okay so now we have all the four fields with their data types and we'll just go okay so now you can see it's this one and now and this is an empty table you can see there are fields here but no data is in the field so now you go for file import table from CSV and you import the same file here test data dot CSV and you give ok so it will say there is already a table of that name do you want to import the data and you should give yes because it will not change the field name or the data type it will simply import the data from the table so we'll give yes import complete and now you can see 
uh, you got the data and now when you execute the same command so you get this one joey age 30 which was you know the real data i mean the joey age was less than 31 and before we see we are not able to execute this because that uh, that was in a form of string and we cannot do this comparison in string it has to be some number and when we import it in uh, this way by creating table first, defining the field name and the data type, and then importing the data, then we can execute whatever numeric SQL commands we want. Okay. And you can save it uh, using Control S or here also there is save option. Yeah. And now uh, you can close this and you can see here that there was test data.csv now. Uh, this name test input csv sql.db has been created and you can open it and you can see your data in this format so now it will all your data will be stored in this db format by this way of import uh, so that's all i hope uh, it give you idea of how you can import the csv file into the sql db browser and thank you